morning children this is swarna deepa in this video we are going to learn the new topic from geometry that is congruency of triangle so before going into this topic you should know what is mean by congruence so congruence the word congruence means exactly equal in size and shape so in geometry if two figures or objects are congruent if they have the same shape and size for example we can say these two shapes are congruent to each other or if one has the same mirror image as the other okay this picture is like a mirror image if we are placing a mirror here means it will look like this right so this is known as congruence right now i'm going to show you two rupees note see we can say these two notes the rupee notes are congruent to each other since they have same shape and same size if i am keeping over other one over the other means they are equal so these two rupee notes are congruent to each other next is congruence of line segment so here we have two line segments ab and cd so if the length of ab is equal to the length of cd then these two line segments are congruent so if two line segments are congruent means their length should be equal and next one is congruence of angles if two angles are given and if we are saying these two angles are congruent means angle abc should be equal to angle xyz here the angle is xyz and for this angle abc these two angles are equal well, then only we can say these two angles are congruent congruence of plane figures here you can see the plane figures these figures are identical if we are placing one shape uh, over the other means they should be equal here also in this two circles the radius are equal if you are uh, cutting this um, plane figure and if you are keeping it over the other means that should be equal so these two plane figure as well as these two plane figures are congruent to each other we know that triangle is a closed figure formed by three line segments there are three sides and three angles in a triangle right so if the corresponding sides and corresponding angles of two triangles are equal then we can say that these two triangles are congruent to each other here i have drawn two tri triangles so i have drawn using different colors to represent the uh, equality of the sides right so here this is red color and here also i have drawn using red color here ab is black and zy is black and also bc is blue and xy is blue which represents that ab is equal to zy okay here red color ac is equal to zx okay now blue color bc is equal to xy also we can say that the angles this angle i can say this as a okay here also it is a and this is b angle b okay here angle a is equal to angle z which i have mentioned as c and angle b which is equal to angle y which is equal to small b angle c which is equal to angle z that is i mentioned c and here it is y and i mentioned the angle as a so here in this two triangles we can say that the sides corresponding sides are equal and also the corresponding angles are equal so we can say that these two triangles are congruent to each other the next topic is conditions for triangles to be congruent there are three conditions that is sss sas and asa here the letter s represents side of a triangle and a represents the angle of a triangle okay so if three sides of corresponding three sides of a triangle are equal then we can say these two triangles are congruent for example this side one single line side are equal so here also they mentioned double line here also double line so these two 
sides are equal and here three lines and here three lines so these two sides are equal so all the three sides or corresponding sides are equal next one yes a yes two sides and one angle are equal that is if uh, here one uh, this side and this side are equal and double line sides are equal and one angle are equal then this condition is said to be yes a yes condition the third one a s a so two angles and one side here this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle so two angles are equal and one side okay mentioning single line so these two sides are equal so we can say these two uh, triangles are congruent to each other which satisfies the condition a s a okay so uh, we can also draw tri uh, triangles that is we can construct triangle if three sides of a triangle are given or two sides and angle one angle are given and two angle and one side are given uh, in my next video i am going to explain construction of triangle using scss method and next video that is uh, i am going to post three videos after this video so scss condition using scss condition we are going to construct a triangle and scss condition we are going to construct and using asa we are going to construct a triangle i have i'm going to post practical geometry three parts that is part a part b part b videos so first part a video explains you scss triangle and part b video sas and part c video asa that is construction of triangle in this video i explained you the main concept which includes in congruency of triangle and also we have seen three conditions for congruency right so in my next videos already i told you that i am going to post practical geometry that is part a part b and part c video which explains you how to construct a triangle using scss criteria sas criteria and asa criteria so don't miss that video also so thank you for watching my video if you like my video please click like button and if you didn't subscribe my channel till now means please do subscribe my channel also share it with your friends Thank you.